Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back, we are back, it is good to be back with the first of two episodes today. Um, before we get into it, um, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing comes at you twice a day with quick hits, uh, eight to ten minute uh, shows to keep you up to date, uh, in the loop, and current on all the latest boxing news and rumors. Also, there will be a link in the description uh, for a charity, uh, an organization that's near and dear to my heart. It's uh, the Autism Community in Action, T-A-C-A, the Autism Community in Action. Uh, if you guys can share the link, uh, if it's possible to donate it, it is greatly appreciated. It's a worthwhile cause. You can help people heal and recover from autism. Um, all right, let's get into today's topic. Um, as you can see in the bottom, Jaime Munguia was supposed to fight Slisky, who is out. Uh, he, initially, um, he was having uh, travel restrictions, passport issues, uh, things like that. But he's out now due to an injury. Uh, I'll, I'll take him at your word and, and believe that's an injury. Uh, but they're going forward with the April 24th fight. Um, it, it, it's in uh, El Paso, Texas. They're going on. That's, they're not postponing it. They're not moving. They're just going to look to substitute an opponent. You got a couple of weeks notice. I'm sure they'll find someone. I've got three names, uh, which I want to share with y'all. Um, look, first I want to break down a little bit of Munguia. He is what he is. He's a, he's a big, slow, powerful wrecking ball, but he's also a big, slow target. Um, he's he's going to be in fun fights. Win, lose, or draw. You put McGee in a fight, it's going to be fun. Um, so there's a lot to be said for that. Now, I, I have three names um, that I, I'd like to see him fight. Uh, three names I think that you could realistically get. One's probably a stretch because he just fought, but you guys let me know what you think about these names. Um, and uh, if, if there's any better names, you, you, you think. Um, but... For Mangia, I'm sure it knows that you think you can get rel realistically get for this fight. Please let me know. Um, but these are the three names that I came up with to face Mangia, April 24th in El Paso. And I'm thinking about going to that fight too. Uh, the first name is Rob Brand. I think this is a, a realistic name that they can get. The only question is, could Brand beat Mangia? I, I think that he could, which is why they may not take that fight. But they could certainly get Brand. Brand is with top rank. Um, Golden Boy and Top Rank has worked worked together before. He has fought since the summer in the bubble. He needs a fight. He stays in shape. He's a local guy. I know he's from Minneapolis, but he lives and trains now in Texas. You can get him. Um, he can sell a little bit. He's a former world champion, so he can bolster up on Gizem. Should he win with that? Um, and it's sure to be a fun fight. I, I think uh, Rob Brandt is the best name that you can get. And I think you can get it. You may have to pay him. You may have to open up the pocketbook a little bit. But he's a guy that stays in shape. And he's a guy that also makes fun fights. And he's a guy that you can get. He's not a guy who demands a huge price tag. So if you have to pay him a little more than he's expected to get, what he usually gets, it is what it is. But you can get him. And you're going to get a good fight. The only problem is, can he beat him? The second name, I don't know how many of my paisans are out there going to remember this name. Um, veteran fighter from Italy. Matteo Signani, um, Italian fighter. He's 41 years old. Um, he's a good fighter, though. Um, he hasn't been overly active. He's got a record 24 and 5. I'm trying to look at the, last, the date of his last fight, which was, well, was pre pandemic, October 19th. Um, October of 2019. October 11th, 2019. So he's been out of the ring for about a year and a half. Another guy, he's 41, he's stays in shape. This is it. For him, and we'll get into him in a little bit, but he's a guy that, uh, again, has a good career, has some decent wins at the European level. You could get him. He's got a good record. He will make the fight. It's a fight that Mongia should win over the reputable opponent, uh, over a good name that you can get on short notice. Uh, so that would be my second option. The third, which is actually my favorite option, I just don't know how realistic it is, is Kieran Davis. 
Uh, Davis just uh, lost that 168 to... Um, boy, my brain doesn't work. Anthony Durrell. Um, in, a, in a very controversial decision in a fight that I think he won, that a fight a lot of people think he won. Um, again, he fought back on February 24th, a month and a half ago. I, I don't know if he's ready. It was a tough fight. If you can get him, that... He, like, when a guy gets robbed like Davis did, I'm going to, uh, when a guy gets a, I don't want to use the word robbed. When a guy comes up short and doesn't get a decision he probably deserved, I'd like to see him get another shot at a big money fight right away. That would be this. Um, Kieran Davis, um, can I box him? Can he take his best, can he take Magia's heat? Can, can, when, when, when Magia break him down? I don't know. But that's a really interesting fight. Now, that's the fight I would pick. I just don't know how realistic it is. But those were the three names that I came up with that you could get on relative short notice. Rob Brandt, uh, Matteo Signani, and Kieran Davis. Um, you get them in here. They get them on a short notice. You don't have to break the bank to get them. The, each guy is, is, is in a stage in his life where he needs this fight, where a win um, will set him up. For Signani, it's his last chance to to break, to be a star. Um, uh for Rob Brandt, it's kind of even, right? I, I think Brandt can outbox him. And then for Kieran Davis, it's the fight he needs after the, after the decision went the way that it did against Anthony Durrell. Um, so I like these three opponents. If you guys like anyone better, if you guys think there's better opponents from McGee's next fight, stylistically, if you don't like these fights, let me know who you guys think he should fight. Um, these are names that I came up with because they're going forward with this fight on April 24th. They're not delaying it. They're not postponing it. They're going forward with this fight on April 24th. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe, share 3D Boxing uh, on all forms of social media. Uh, follow us on all forms of social media. Please share us. Uh, again, there's going to be a link in the description for uh, the Autism Foundation. That It is National Autism Month, which is why I lead with this every day, every show this month. It is National Autism Month. Um, please keep that in mind. Yeah, share the link. Uh, donate if, if possible, but sharing it's free. We always appreciate that. Get it out there. Put it in front of people. Um, remember, Quick Kits will be back later today. Not sure. We're probably going to do an episode on, on Donaire no Bali. I'm not sure yet, but we will be back later tonight. Uh, please uh, share this on all forms of social media from Texas. Oh, wait. It is April 6th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. From Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.